So we've gone through another um, uh, demo of a tonal knee replacement, and we're at the trial phase. And again, we've screwed it up, and we're not looking. We're not liking what we're what we're seeing. So I've got my femoral cuts made, tibial cuts made. We tried to balance our flexion and extension gap. Now I'm testing the trial, and what I'm seeing here is that just with me holding the heel, that I still have a significant flexion contracture, that the knee is not sitting appropriate. So I can I can push it in extension but it's very tight. So my extension gap is way too tight in this scenario, okay? If I look at what's happening in the flexion gap, my patella's tracking well, it's flexing, but in deep flexion, that tibial tray is, is coming off and it's transiting forward. So tibial lift off in flexion, flexion contracture extension, tight extension gap, and a tight flexion gap, okay? So we've got problems with both of our gaps. If we've got problems with uh, a symmetrical problem in flexion and extension, then we always look to the tibial side. If we have problems which are asymmetric, either in flexion or in extension, not both, then we look to the femoral side. So here we got a tibial side problem. Uh, tight in both is an easy fix. It means that our joint is overstuffed. If we're at the lowest polyethylene, then we have to recut our tibia and we have to take more bone to lower the tibial cut. If we've got room to play in our polyethylene, then we can simply just put in a smaller polyethylene and see if that corrects our problem. Okay, so let's try that and see how that goes. So I'm gonna take out all of this and I'm gonna rebuild it on the back table here with a smaller, smaller polyethylene. So this is the Attune system and I can just simply pop this off, pop on a smaller guy that's going to affect. So I've gone from, I've taken four millimeters of poly, poly off, right? I push that in. That's a tighter fit. That's fit. I'm going to take it out in extension. And now we go to full extension. There's no flexion contracture. That feels good. If I take that knee and I stress it in valgus varus, I get about two or three millimeters of lift off with valgus stressing, two or three millimeters of lift off equal on the lateral side with varus stressing. As I go through an arc of motion, let me just take this off so I'm not pushing it erroneously. If I take that through a range of motion, as I get into the tibia, then it's, uh, it's flexing far better than it was with our big, with our big thicker poly. So tight in extension, tight in flexion, symmetrical problem, deal with it on the tibial side, lower the joint cut, either through minimizing your polyethylene or recutting the tibia if we have to. All right. Saved. Perfect.